First and foremost, inshallah ta'ala, let's start with the hukum, the ruling in Islam. And this is sort of the clear and unambiguous and something that no Islamic scholar or mainstream masjid or institution would deny. Number one, that in Islam, any sexual relationship outside of nikah between a man and a woman is haram. Same-sex actions are unequivocally haram. Uh, so the one who denies its prohibition denies what is ma'lum in adin bil darura, which takes one outside of the fold of Islam. To celebrate or support what Allah has prohibited is a form of fusuq and cannot be done in the name of social cohesion or political mobility. And I'm just clarifying that Islam does not allow homosexual acts, just like Islam does not allow you to commit adultery, just like Islam does not allow you to touch the opposite sex who is not a mahram, just like uh, Islam does not allow uh, so many things, the consumption of alcohol or the consumption or the taking of intoxicants and so on, the eating of usury and interest, Islam doesn't allow these things. Some people who consider themselves to be liberals, and in Islam we don't have liberals. We have Muslims and non-Muslims. What do you mean by liberal? It means that I have no problem with LGBT. I have no problem with homosexuality. I have no problem if people change their religions. This is not liberalism. This is kufr. But it is very unfortunate that parents are the ones who are actually bringing this LGBT content right into their home. And they are the ones who are supporting organizations that actively promote and teach LGBT without the parents even realizing it. Negligent parents are leaving their children to consume quote-unquote harmless, satanic, LGBT indoctrination cartoons made by Disney and Nickelodeon and Netflix. Islam forbids homosexuality as a practice, a major sin. Ibn al-Qayyim, one of the scholars of Islam, he says, up there with murder.